Hello and welcome to Hustle is for Life Motivation. This is the show where you come to upgrade your your brain matter, okay? Um, because we we come together for very specific reason on this show, and that is that we want to follow in the footsteps of great people who are doing amazing things, so we can achieve the same level of success that they have managed to achieve. We want to create the same levels of extraordinary results that they have managed to create for themselves. Uh, and in in the process, I also want to give you access to my network, so you can upgrade the five people that you spend the most time with. Uh, so again you can you can actually you know upgrade your network without actually having to leave your house so i'm always here to serve you my name is shalal i am your host and today i have a very special guest with me today's guest is a 16 year old high school student from greenwood indiana usa and despite her young age she is very mature and is passionate about connecting with others and making an impact in her own special unique way she is curious to explore a whole variety of different fields and subjects everything everything from creativity and psychology and deep thought to the mechanics of success and entrepreneurship and you know what i am just absolutely blown away i'm super excited to have her on uh, with us today because she is about to launch her own podcast called mentors and it's based on showcasing the fantastic world models models for generation z that's obviously her generation not my generation uh, just to make that clear now on the podcast she will be bringing on some very high level guests to explore the problems that she sees with her generation and also to inspire her peers around the world by talking about their stories and their journeys um you know and also the stories and the journeys of the guests and uh, you know having all these amazing guests that she's trying to bring on um i think it's uh, it's really inspiring for somebody who is so young to 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 be on this path but at the same time the podcast uh will be very unique Unique. It's not going to be a typical Q&A podcast. It's more kind of like how I like to do my show. It's going to be more of a conversation. And her main goal with the Mentors podcast is to shine the light on the people that she's actually learned from. Um, and you know, basically expand the minds of her audience and her peers around the world so they can become the best version of themselves. Now, she is actually the daughter of Don Wetrick, who I actually interviewed before on the channel. I'll put the actual link below in the description. You can go and check that out. He's absolutely awesome. He's the world's number one education innovation expert. He's also a, an international speaker and an author. And uh, this uh, lovely lady is actually the daughter of Don Wetrick. Um, so please help me welcome someone I think who's, who's a very young, strong, independent and intelligent lady and uh, a total badass. And I know she's going to make a very bright future for herself. So please help me welcome Ava Wetrick. Ava, welcome to the show. You're making me blush with that intro. Oh my, oh my goodness. Well, I, 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 I took a whole hour out of my afternoon to sit down and write that. That touched my heart a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I think, first, thank you so much. One, taking that time. And two, writing that incredible intro. Oh my goodness. No worries at all. Like I, I, like, I like to make my guests feel very special because they are definitely very special to me. That's why I like to bring them on. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you are somebody who is so inspiring. Uh, and uh, I took a whole hour out of my afternoon today. Um, I went and isolated myself from the rest of the world, sat down with my headphones in and spent some time writing that for you. So I hope you like that. <laughs> now, I feel that, well, honestly, the... Thank you so much. Like, I, I, honestly, I don't have the I don't have the words. Just the fact that you did that for me, you know, means the world to me. You're such you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. No problem. Well, Ava, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I know you're very busy. You got exams going on. You're also about to launch your brand new podcast, which obviously we're here to talk about. Um, but seriously, you know, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to be here with us. And of course, I appreciate the t I appreciate you taking the time to list, like to talk to me too. I mean, honestly, I, you know, most some, most of the time I feel like, oh, you know, I'm just you know, I'm a kid from Indiana that has a podcast. But as the more that I talk to people, the more that I grow, people keep going, but you're not, but you're not. Yeah. And you know, you 
And you probably think the same, like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just a guy that does a podcast, you know, but you're not, you're becoming so much more than that. You know, we're developing ourselves and, you know, cultivating this incredibly cool environment. And I know you like to talk about like your top five, top five people around you, you know, we're building that and increasing that. And it's just so, so cool. So again, thank you in all honesty. Yeah, no problem, Ava. The, I, I think, you know, you're right. When you are doing your podcast, you might be thinking, hey, I'm just a kid from Indiana doing a podcast, but you don't realize just how rare that is. You're maybe, you know, one in tens of millions of kids who is uh, doing something like that, especially at such a young age. So, you know, I think that's really, really inspiring. I really wanted to bring you on because I think, you know, the audience can, uh, you know, see what's really, truly possible for them. I mean, you know, if you were so young at, at 16 and you're launching a podcast, um, you know, then everybody else who's you know maybe older well what what can they achieve right i mean they don't even know because they they need to go out and try so you know seriously well done to you uh kudos to you for actually having the courage to go ahead and doing something like that because you know even somebody who might want to go down that road they might not simply because they think hey i'm just a student who's going to listen to me but i think what you're doing um will add a tremendous amount of value to people especially you know generation z i'm really glad to have you on and uh, I, I i think we'll, what we'll do is we'll start from the beginning maybe you can just talk to us a little bit about your journey how did the whole thing start and what led you to essentially today being here with me you know talking about your podcast well oh goodness if you it, before even the podcast, I'm Don Watrick's kid. So I mean, for some people, that's just like I don't I, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know who you are. It doesn't matter. But for people who do know my dad, very big in education, very big. Well, he's big in education because he doesn't like it. He's a teacher who's disrupting it and changing everything about it. So because of that, because again, he's my dad, I was thrown into this atmosphere of not that school sucks, but you shouldn't be learning from school and you should be doing your own things. Mm. So, so because of this, I've just, I've just had this amazing opportunity to learn a bunch of things that probably no other kid has got to. And, you know, build my own mindset, build like cultivate, um, how to put it, you, it's building your own mindset and it's cultivating and hmm, cultivating mindset or cultivating, Behave, cultivating behavior, especially. I have to think about that for a little bit. I'm so sorry. That's cool. But you, know, you build all these things up, and then you get to know about all these people. You, you know, like again, like Tom Billu, Naveen Jain, uh, JT McCormick, uh, and you learn from them too. So that builds up, and so I have this. I'm not going to say incredible mind, but I just have this, you know, buzzing mind all the time. And I like to talk a lot. I like to talk a lot about it. Talk a lot about what I like to learn, what I like to do. And because of that, we filtered that into a podcast. We were in a seven-hour car drive to Illinois, and I was like, Dad, I don't know what to wow. do. I don't have a passion. Because yeah. a lot of kids have a passion nowadays. If you've not, like, I don't know if you spend a lot of time around high schoolers, but I kid you. <laughs> I teach them, sit- so. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so sorry. That's like, cool. a little bit. No, no, we're good cool. kids. I know, I know. You go for it. Yeah, but most of the time, you know, you sit down with a kid and you go, you know, what do you love? What do you love to do? Mm. I don't know. What do you like to do outside of school? Yeah. I like to, this is, these are some of the answers I actually get. I like to eat food, or I like to hang out with my friends. I like to be up on my phone, or I love Netflix. And then they laugh because I think it's funny, even though it's pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I go, that's really sad. Why are, like, why, why is this your life? So you, so, Ugh. It's basically that. So because I've have because I've deviated from that a little bit, mm. I've been wanting to help other people deviate. So again, in the seven hour car drive, my dad was like, "You know, what you should do. You should. You know, we should have. You should have a podcast." And then a podcast became like, "Well, what do you want to talk about, Ava?" I don't know. In in that came into like, "Well, you know, you like learning from these people. Why not learn about these people again and get to talk to them?" I was like. You know, that sounds amazing. I get to talk to people that I really love. And so, and, and then Mentors was born. And, you know, even though it hasn't been put out yet, it's been going really well. And I'm really excited to show the world it. I'm really excited to um, be able to help all these kids out or be able to, like, introduce them to incredibly cool people so that they can do what I'm doing. And even when you said your own generation, mm. I hope that they can do do and you know it's not really because of my contacts even like you got into contact with my dad like that's yeah i'm not gonna say it's a huge thing because i don't want to inflate his ego 
I want to play as ego. But, you know, to you, you're like, that was such a big deal to me. You were able to do this at your age. I mean, my age is, is, is novel, but I also want people to know that, you know, you can learn these same things and you can take the same actions. All that it takes is building mindset and doing something about it. Absolutely. That, absolutely. You're so right there, Ava. I mean, you know, the whole thing, the whole story is really fascinating. I mean, how you came up with the idea, you're stuck in a seven hour long car drive with your dad. I mean, that will freak out most teenagers as it is. You said something really powerful. And I want to actually, you know, point that out to the people who are watching this right now. What Ava said was that she developed a mindset she kind of culti- cultivated a certain type of behavior and attitude that allowed her to make this de- decision on starting this podcast um, and that came through being exposed to a certain environment right mm-hmm. so if mm-hmm. you want to change if you want to go ahead and accomplish you know great things you want to create extraordinary results for yourselves in your life you need to change your environment number one you also need to change your network you need to upgrade your five the five people you spend the most time with absolutely critical so Ava did that next and she did that at the age of 16 so for most 16 year olds even if they're interested they would not go down this route because they say hey I'm just a kid but Ava did go through it so you know imagine what's really truly possible for you Now, I want to go back to the environment thing. One thing I want to highlight is that everything, everything and everyone you actually interact with is an environment. Your clothes are an environment. Your car is an environment. Your home is an environment. Your laptop, your phone, everything is environment. So if you are able to control your environment, you will control your destiny. But thank you, Ava. That was really powerful. I just want to stop and highlight that to the people because it was just so powerful. Oh yeah, and you know, when you said environment is more than just people, that sh- that definitely struck a chord with me. You and taking control of that is honestly, it's everything. And you said most kids would say, "Oh, I'm just a kid." Mm. I have this my friends because they do a lot of incredible work too. They now think because I'm a kid, I can do these things. Yeah. You know, because I'm a kid, I can make an end. And that and that's incredibly, incredibly powerful. And that's what I love the most. And you know, you are you are beyond right. When I mean, and when you mean the environment, I mean, like, even online, it's extremely important. Like, I have this now shift of, like, instead of watching regular YouTube videos, just regular dumb stuff. It's okay to watch the dumb stuff. I really like Red Vine videos. They're hilarious. But, I, you know, what's more fulfilling is going, is actually, like, watching a podcast Mm. or, like, learning about something new or completely weird. Absolutely. people want to know how to develop that mindset Mm. they go well i just think like this this is just who i am no it's not you can eat the self in the mind and the body are easily malleable always you know who i am today and who i am right now it will not be the same as who i am tomorrow Mm. the mind is you know you're you are your conscience you are your emotions you are your um you are your thoughts your ideas uh and it's always flowing (laughs) <laughs> it's always, always flowing. So tomorrow you could be the most active person in the world and you can have this belief that you are you are strong and you're intelligent and you go out and do things. Or the next day you can realize that you're nothing and you don't do anything and you're not active. Yeah. It's all based on the mind. So, you know, I would say to develop that mindset is just one is curiosity. It's such it's such the most important thing ever. The more you stay curious, the more you learn. Mm-hmm. And when and even so the more you learn, the more you expose yourself to yeah. and the more you're to expose yourself the problem is is people go i don't know what to do it's probably because you only know a limited amount of things most kids i know they go they go oh you know netflix twitter um video games maybe and or movies or a sports team and that's their world these Mm -hmm. five things but once you expand that and you know you ask yourself like a random question like i love my little brother i love him but he only talks about video games yeah (laughs) so one day I just started drilling him with questions. And so he goes, Ava, I want to, you know, there's this game like FNAF, which I actually like. He says, <laughs> FNAF. And I go, Grit, how does your button work on your shirt? I don't know. To look at your, look at the button on your shirt. Tell me how it works. And he starts explaining it. And then he'll dive into another video game and I'll go, Grit, why does a wheel roll better than a square? Like, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, you know, all these interesting questions. So once you start building that up, 
like you're going to be so golden and not only that you're totally right when you it's the people it's the company you keep to but i'm not going to lie you might not get that company at first because you won't you won't be attractive to them you know what i mean yeah yeah that's the hard part that you there has to be an internal change first i believe uh for them to come to you because one you'll start thinking like them you know what i mean you'll start thinking like them you know, and then you'll learn you'll know where to find them um, or you'll start doing like really cool things too. And these people, they want to come to you because most of the time people go like, you know, if I say, Oh, it's like, it's like when you're the, like in a movie, when you're the new kid yeah. and you, you just sit there in a corner, you're like I'm the new kid and I'm scared and I'm shy. And I'm just going to sit here. And then like 30 people come over and they just love you now. That's it's never, never how it works. You have to, you have to stand out in your own right. You have to redevelop yourself mm. and then come to you and then people will like you you know uh i I love introverts i love my introverted friends but you you know they they expect you to adopt them and go oh just take me in just love me please like i i we definitely will people will definitely love you for who you are but it's also that change of like i exist i am here yeah and i want to help you Mm. is incredibly incredibly important so that's what i've been able to do that's what my friends have been able to do and we've all built each other up and that's what other people that we've been meeting have been helping us do. Yeah. Like, like, you know, like you or like any other podcast or the other person on your podcast that you had too. They help you too as much as you help them. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Ava said something really, really powerful again, um, you know, when, when she was speaking before. And what she said was that most kids would think that I would not go and approach this because I'm a kid. But now she and her friends are thinking, I can do this because I'm a kid. So it's, it's your mindset. It's the way you look at things. It's the filter that you put on when you actually approach different issues and different things that are happening in your life. And there's a very beautiful quote that says, the only disability in life is a lack of attitude. And it's very, very true. Okay. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what background uh, you've had, etc. The only thing that matters is, are you willing to go and put in the hustle? And if so, results uh, and opportunities will uh, definitely present themselves. So yeah, no, definitely. You're, you're so right. And oh uh, you have such a strong mindset. Uh, that you have developed. I think a lot of people who are actually watching this would just maybe are curious about, you know, what was the journey like to actually go down and and develop this kind of mindset for you personally? Ooh, okay. I was reluctant. (laughs) I was very, very reluctant. I didn't (laughs) want to do it. And it wasn't wasn't a thought process of, um, oh, I, I need to rebuild my mindset. It was never that at first. Yeah. It was always someone pushing me mm. and you know, a lot of people, we don't like to be, people usually don't like to be pushed unless they're a little odd when, in which I love them. But you know, when you push someone in that direction, they resist. So my dad was pushing me a little bit like Ava, this book from Tim Ferriss, read it. Or like this podcast, my podcast, read, like listen to my podcast. Like, no, you're my dad. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then, but then I was, but then, this and you know, a while back you even said most kids would be scared mm, being yeah. being a parent for that many hours talking about those type of things, and it is and it is scary in its own right because basically you're going to throw you might throw yourself into an existential crisis. I won't lie, I've had sounds weird. I have had existentialist like thoughts, beliefs since I was in fifth grade. I've always been like an interesting, interesting thinker. So you know, you'll hit that existential low and you go you know, what's my purpose? What am I serving for? The, the uh, Life, because people go, what's the meaning of life? You have to give meaning to life first. It, you know, it's always dependent, even suffering, which is I, my favorite, favorite, you know, lessons are always suffering because they teach you more than anything and you give meaning to them before they become much more powerful than you ever think. Oh yeah. So because of a, like a little, so because of a little bit of suffering of having existential crises of, at 16, I'm a kid. What do I do? How do I fulfill my life? And then having the resources of, you know, my dad and my friends in my school that, you know, that push you in directions. I finally kind of gave up and I was like, okay, fine. I'll learn stuff. Dang it. So you get, so you get into that. You're reluctant, but you want to learn because you want to help yourself. Yeah. Um, and from that, and it's always a question of what do you want to learn? What do you want to learn about? I just say you dive into anything, you know, like if you pick up a podcast or if you go, you know what? I kind of like this show. 
let's see how they made this show, hmm. it didn't go anywhere. Um, you, cause one of my, someone told me once that you could create consumerism into, into basically doing can like, you know, product, make it something else. So he's like, Oh, you know, you could take a song and realize like, how do they make this song? Find it out. And you're learning. So yeah. basically learning and staying curious about anything definitely helps. Um, what's another thing I did? A lot of it was, you know, you can learn about things, but it's more important in my opinion to learn about people. Because when you learn about people, you learn about their stories. Oh, yeah. And the story is the most critical thing. Like, do you know Viktor Frankl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know Viktor Frankl. I, I hope your audience, I hope your audience reads his book. Very short book, but you know, it's his story. He was a he was a Jew uh, in World War II. Spent like ten years, I think, in concentration camps. Mm. Four of them. And his you know, his whole thing was about how was it, how you know mind matters over conditions anywhere like you even stated it like it, it doesn't matter what conditions you were in he was suffering he was in pain he almost died several times but the only reason he stayed alive was because of his mentality yeah um so you know learning things like that that like hit you hard and they affect you and they will also change your direction of things so <clears throat> like because of that lesson i like you know you start to give meaning to everything or you don't give meaning to things depending on what it is mm. um and you start, you know, start looking for other things, and it's, and again, and it doesn't hit in a day. That's the thing that a lot of people don't want to consider because we like things now. If I order something on Amazon, I'm going to get it tomorrow. If I, if I'm going to, if I want to talk to a friend, I'm going to, I'm going to text them, and they're going to respond right back. But cultivating a mind, developing friendships, developing that those five people, it's a slow, meandering process, and it's going to, it's going to take time, and it's going to build up. But in all honesty, it's the most valuable and precious thing you will ever have at the end of the day. Like, you know, tomorrow I my house could burn down and my this horrible my house could burn down and my parents would die and I'd be left with nothing but my mentality. And that's the only thing that's gonna get you through. Mm. So as like so if you're when you cultivate that, when you stay curious, when you keep learning things and when you find out about other people, you are beyond golden. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. You know what? Um, you broke it down so well. I mean, like, it's unbelievable that you're 16. Seriously, you broke it down so damn well. Um, you know, Thank wow, you. that's very impressive. Yeah, no, seriously, it is very impressive. And um, um, right now, I have the kind of urge to ask you to be my mentor because you did so well there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds, it sounds... Don't be. Don't think it's odd to have a like a child mentor. Honestly, mm. you have no idea how amazing, like how amazing. You not like kids sixteen. Sixteen year olds suck, but like little kids. Little kids are amazing. Mm. I like I have a friend. He was developing a um a game, and he goes, you know, Ava, I don't I don't know what to do about this game. I want to develop it in another way. I want to like be a little more interesting. And I was like, dude, just go sit down with like a couple you know, kindergartners yeah. and show them the game. They'll give you anything. Like they'll give you any information you want. Um, even little kids and the old, the older you get, sadly, I'll blame the educational system all I want, but it's also a little bit of our faults too. You know, you got to take that ownership, but you know, you lose that creativity. So the farther you go back and go, Oh my gosh, little kids, you're so creative. Please help me. And they'll go, Oh, of course. And you'll have so many, you have so many fresh ideas. Actually, that's a lot. Like that's what a lot of businesses are doing right now. A lot of businesses are going into it and just going into like, can we sit on on with your first graders? Teachers like, yeah, yeah you're weird, but okay. And they'll, like they'll give them this product. They're like, what can we do with this? How can we make this better? And the kids will give them weird, crazy ideas at work. Yeah, yeah, no, that's very true. Very, very true. You're absolutely right. Um, I love the energy, Ava. It's really great. You've, um, you know, you're very. Um, a high energy person um, and you're bringing a lot of energy to us right now I really appreciate that um, I want to kind of go down a slightly different uh, route now obviously you if you think about it it's, it's a pretty big thing you take you're starting a podcast you're launching your own brand essentially and uh, you're trying to help out you know all your peers everywhere in the world um, why why is it important to you that you launched this podcast. What what are your personal goals behind launching this podcast? So, whew, that is that is a really really good question. I love that. So it's what it's like. What it mean? 
it's not what it means to me, or is it what am I going to end up doing with this? No, it's it's more along the lines of what do you want to get out of it? Because obviously you're there inspiring everybody else, but through inspiring everybody else, what is it that you hope to get out of it? Okay, <laughs> I can, I, this question I can definitely definitely answer. Thank you so much for asking this too. One, I want to get. It's a little. So first off, there's a there's a selfless component and there's a selfish component mm. because in honesty in the world, you know, for every good there is evil. For every evil there is good. Yeah. So the completely selfless reason for doing a podcast is, you know, I get to help people. I get to inspire them. I get to help drive them to do what they want to do. And I expose them to people who have amazing mindsets and have done incredible things um, it, to allow them to grow too. Because in all honesty, uh, I called it mentors because Generation Z doesn't have that good of mentors. You know, we look to, to you know, Instagram pages, Twitter page, YouTubers, uh, athletes, actress, actors, actresses. And not to say they're bad people, they're not. But most of the time, they are very self-promotional. You know, you go, oh my gosh, you liked my you liked my video, go buy my merch. Or you know, you like me in movies, go go see my other movies. Right? Yeah. You love me, <laughs> and you know, that's all good and fun. But that does nothing for us in long term. It's never fulfilling, and it's not going to it's not going to help you at all. So the people that I've learned from, and again, I've had the the blessing. To learn from a lot of kids aren't exposed to the people I've been exposed to, e even if it's in, it's just looking up them up on the internet. I never knew they existed until you just go down rabbit holes. Yeah. But you know, uh, by learning from these people, I, I just I just want to give that out because, in all honesty, I think that there is a lack of purpose in a lot of people's lives, mm. and it creates a lot of horrible, horrible things. You know, like uh, a lot of ment like a lot of mental trauma, a lot of dep you know, there's been a lot of depression, especially in my age group, um, and and just a lot of and you know, just a lot of bad things. And it's, it, it deep rootedly, usually it's because there is no there's no meaning. Mm. So once you sprout other things and give people the chance to find meaning, and you give people the chance to understand that they are more than just the self, that they can be outside of the body, that's incredible in itself. That's honestly what like part of the thing I want to bring to not just my generation to any generation. Awesome. Uh, that's so that's completely selfless. Completely selfish is I just get to talk to cool people. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it. Like, nice. that, like so you got this. You got the, you you have this, but there's this completely selfish. I get to talk to cool people and learn from them. Mm. That blows my mind because you know you can read their book, but when you when you say like hi. I'm, you know, I'm Abra, hi, I'm Talal. I just want to learn from you for, for an hour. Can I do that for a podcast? They go, yes, of course. And, and, that, and that's also just brings joy to my heart. Yeah. So that's, those are two, two, the, the two biggest, those are the two biggest reasons why I do it. And what I hope to get out of it is, again, is to see results. Um, to see results in that. And again, I don't know how I'll get results on that. But, you know, I will. Mm. I will. Because you, you got to have that drive. But, you know, I, I hope to reach my audience. I hope for them to talk with me, you know, converse. Sure. And for them to go, you know, this actually helped. Mm. Not what you said. Your me like what this mentor said helped me. I want to go do this because of them. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. I want that. Mm. Um, and also, it does help build a name. So if I can, so if I build my name and if I, and if from a podcast, I can stem a business because we were talking about this a little earlier. Like if I can stem a business or a book or more of a podcast um, or just some greater cause, that's also incredible. I, like, I am so excited to see some of these things stem from it. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, th I think you have a lot of potential um, and uh, you're definitely somebody who is willing to put herself out there and, uh, you know, manifest things and, and make things happen rather than actually sitting back and, you know, wishing that things will actually come to you. So that's great. And mm -hmm. I love the attitude. Um, and you're right. There has to be those two elements, you know, a selfless element where you're actually absolutely value, uh, adding value to other people. You want to help them with their troubles and their problems. But there has to be the selfish element as well, because that you, that's what kind of keeps you going too as well right so that selfish element um, is also part of the fact that you see results you see other people grow you see, help other people solve their problems and the kind of you know gratitude you get back from them that's one of the major drivers um, and I think that would be really fantastic for you when you start to actually hear 
other people turning around and saying, hey, Ava, you kind of really helped me, you know, get through this particular issue or break this limiting belief, etc. Then I think that would be that would be really powerful. But, uh, you know, again, the fact connecting with people is uh, it's it's really um, a, a critical element there as well. I mean, that's one of the things that, you know, I love doing for my show, just, you know, talking to all these amazing people who are on here um, and, who you know, all sorts of amazing opportunities start to come your way. So definitely, Ava, I think the you're you have a very bright future ahead of you and uh, I look forward to to following your steps um, and uh, and actually following your story and uh, and see where it goes. Well, that means all the world. That means the whole world. Thank you so much. Like again, I am so 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 excited to see you know what can you know stem from your podcast too because you know you, you've been on longer definitely than I haven't even been on yet. But you know you're getting momentum too, and you're getting traction from the people that you get to talk to, and when you build up, that's that's incredible. And if I can help you build up in any way, like that, that's just such a precious thing to help people out. Absolutely. I mean, Navi and Jane even find it. Mm. Uh, Navi Jane was like, you know, success isn't how much money you get. Success is how many lives can you positively impact. Mm. That's something I take. That's something I definitely take to heart. So, if you believe in that sense that you're a successful person, then I think that you are just you are beyond on the right track. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Right, Ava. Let's uh, let's talk about your guests because I know you have already started to connect with some really, really high level people, um, and you haven't even launched your podcast yet, right? Um, and I know some people might be sitting there thinking, "Hey, it's because of your dad's connections. It's because of who your dad is, etc." But really, I think it's uh, it's the fact that you're the one who made all the effort. So maybe can you tell us a little bit about you know without without giving too much away? Obviously, we want people to uh, go and listen to the podcast. Podcast. So, without giving too much away, can you give us a little bit about what kind of guests do you want to feature on your podcast? Oh, who do I want? Yeah, yeah. What kind of people? So, you know, obviously you have, you might have a list. You might say, hey, I want this, this, this specific person. But more kind of like what kind of general qualities you want them to have, what kind of skills, what kind of background, what kind of stories you want them to to, to bring on and, and, you know, share on the podcast. Oh, my God. Goodness. So for one, yes, I do have a list. I have a, I have this, uh, like I have a notebook now and it has everything I need in it. And I love it. Love that notebook. Nice. Um, and also people in general that I want on are people that have people with just at, like active minds, you know, op- like active mindsets, open minds, people that are doing stuff. Yeah. And what I mean stuff, I mean, actually going out into the world and pr- either producing something or it like, at being an activist, you know, to, like being a thought leader in a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like people with interesting, interesting background stories. Like, uh, like I had JT McCormick on. Mm. I mean, I could have had, him, I could have had him on the on the podcast alone for his background, which is first off, his dad was a pimp and his mom was an orphan, and he was being, he was a biracial kid in the seventies. That's not good. It was, you know, so he grew up. In complete in in an inner city, like complete poverty, and he built himself up to be a very successful CEO that makes millions. Mm. You know, be, so for his story alone, I could have people on, but also because of what he's currently doing and his mindset is another reason why you have people on their podcast, like on the on the site. So honestly, anyone who's doing that, and that's a broad spectrum, anyone that can be a, and is willing to be a mentor for someone else and for an audience is who I want. That's my, tar- like, you know, that's my target love that. uh, demographic of people. Yes, I love that. Target audience is honestly anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, no, that's a good definition. Anybody who wants to be a mentor to somebody else and make an impact in their life, I think that's really powerful. I love that. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. That's great. Um, so, you know, you're going to bring on all these amazing guests, okay? Um, and you're going to obviously tr- interview them. What can we expect from them interview? What kind of subjects are you going to explore? What kind of rabbit holes are you going to go down? Uh, okay, I have, okay. How would I start this? So one of them, my fav- one of my favorite things to ask is like, how does your brain function? Like, how does your brain work? Uh, and that can de- like, and that can deviate into any path, honestly. Mm. Because go, what do you mean by that? It's a vague question for a reason. Like, you know, let's hit all the topics we can. And so that that can it goes into mindset. It goes into like, you know, the physicality, the mentality, the emotionality, the spirituality, or the religion of anyone. Uh, and, and it's what they brought from, it's what they learned from it. Mm. You can also talk like, I want to talk about your origin story. Like, 
put them on like a little superhero pedestal. Like you're such a superhero. Where's your, where's your background story? Where's your origin? And they'll go into that too. And they'll go, here's how I built myself up to be successful. I think that's super important to do that because it's, you know, like I haven't read the book zero to one yet, but I'm going to, but it's zero to one. It's how I, I was nothing and then became something. Hmm. And you know, that's such important for an audience and especially for a kid or a person who goes, I don't know what to do. But when you listen to stories like that, you go, one, it's possible. And two, I, you know, I can do it too. And they did it. And mm-hmm. I can learn how they did it and follow in their footsteps. Like how, yeah. like, you know, hustle is for. Um, we can talk about, oh, goodness. We can talk about, you know, their mentors, you know, who they learned from, you know, how they've impacted their own lives. It's, it can quite honestly be this, this whole mentality, mentality and change aspect to mentors because you know you want your audience to change as well and also and also it's also a little specialized to them so it's what they do too because i had this i had this uh amazing guy on like neil falora he is extremely knowledgeable on the brain right and he just talked to me about like how the brain functions hmm. and it's and, and i know it sounds like weird like why, why would i care about how the brain functions that's dumb i don't want to listen to this but then we talk about why it's important to know how the brain functions. And now, because like, I didn't know this at first, but now, now I know that if you can hack the brain, if you can change your brain, if you can change how it's wired, you're going to change yourself in dramatic ways. Mm. And that's the fastest way, to, and it's the fastest way to think differently or uh, think any way you would like to. It, you know, so it's it's all it's all powerful in itself what people are doing, and then how you can connect to this broad spectrum of um, of of people, this broad spectrum of, uh, how do you put it? Broad spectrum of, I guess the world, the world mentality, not worldly mindsets because they're bad, but you, you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, of course we catch your drift. That sounds actually really exciting. It sounds really, really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to actually listening to the podcast. I want to make sure that I'm the first one to subscribe. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm going to be waiting as soon as it comes out. I'm going to be the first one hitting that button. That's awesome. And I encourage everybody else to go and uh, hit that button too because I think Ava has a lot of value to add to all of us. She was just been here with us for, what, like just over half an hour and she's absolutely crushed it. I think she's blown my mind. I'm sure she's pretty much blown yours as well. She's only 16 and uh, she's uh, she's got a really bright future ahead of us. She's taking some really big steps. Um, at this very young age and uh, yes like uh, like we said before you know you might be thinking that it's because of who her dad is but it's not it's more about who she is or more importantly who she has become and she's on the path to becoming so I think Ava you you have uh, a lot of value to offer so definitely um you know i will be subscribing to the podcast i'm sure everybody else who's watching this video right now will go ahead and do so too now where can where can people help you right now oh goodness where could people help me well first off when you're talking about like who she's who she is and who she's becoming you are catching me at the most interesting time of my life and i'll like It'll be fun coming back in a couple of years and listening to our conversation because I am currently, I, I'm currently developing into a, into like a different person. Mm. So this is this fun time of like this, like this oddness of like, you know, what, what's she going to be? It's like, you know, like, oh, like when you're a kid, there's like mystery eggs and you know, you're like, oh, what's in, like, what's inside the egg? That's where I am right now. And I find it so fun and so fascinating but I'm sorry, I just I had to say that. Sure. It'll be it'll be definitely incredible. And people will have this stage in their life too. It's not like a, you know, I'm this now I'm that. It's a always a constant shift, always a flow. Um, but people can definitely find me on Twitter. Most active on Twitter, like at underscore uh, no at Ava underscore Wetrick. Simple as that. Facebook, yeah, if you can find me on Facebook. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm trying to figure out how that works. It's very very interesting. And I those are my those are my top three. That's awesome. people can find me. And it's all and it's all Ava Wetrick. No one else has my name. I checked on a on a checked on a list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Excellent. We'll uh, we'll do exactly that. Now, uh, I'll put those links below in the description for people so they can go check out. Um, but um, I, I wanted to actually ask you, do you have any daily practices or routines that you follow that actually help you to stay in this mindset that allow you to make sure that you are, you know, constantly energized or focused or, you know, um, kind of helps you, you know, uh, 
your get your creativity flowing. I have I'm a swimmer and I'm forced to swim. I, that's my biggest. I have to wake up again. I okay. I say have to lovingly. I do. <laughs> I, hate, I hate swimming, but I love it. It's it's this it's this weird relationship where it hurts you and you come back you know what i mean because yeah. it's an exercise mm -hmm. and i love and i love working out so working out is definitely number one number two is i get up at 4 45 in the morning to do this wow That's i have to every day and i have to jump in into cold water or start running on a track at 5 30 in the morning wow every day except for well except for sunday <laughs> well, well you know except for sunday so that is a big thing wow. that you know that just and it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's like, you know, you sink in your heart because you don't want to do it every day. You don't. And thank goodness I have the accountability of my parents. Like, born, like you have to get up. I don't want to. You know, you understand. But it's that. And it does create discipline. Even if you do fall sometimes and someone holds you accountable, mm. that's extremely helpful. So, you know, it, it's it's that I have to do it. I have to get through it even though I don't want to. Yeah. It's... um. I think people have been telling me about meditation and recently I've been kind of just like, you know, and I don't know if this is meditation for pe for some people, but you know, just sitting like, a, you know, at a wall thinking, breathing, that's, that's helpful because you get rid of everything. Yeah. There's no phone. Mm. There's no music even. Um, and you just sit there and it's calm and it's quiet and you can either think about anything you want, let your mind wander or you can try to focus on something. Um, I, I do my, I, you know, I like to eat healthy a lot. So sometimes it's just like, sometimes cooking is a lot of fun or just, again, just the things you feed yourself because the things you feed yourself have more impact than you know, uh, on your entire, on your mind, on, you know, on your body. Uh, I think, di I think diving into spirituality or, you know, uh, religious aspects is extremely important as well. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a follower of Christ. I, you know, I go in, you don't really even have to go to church. You're just reading the Bible, but I found, you know, I found this, you know, a couple books that really link Buddhism to Christianity wow. and having those two religions flow between each other, hmm. uh, really does help me understand more about, you know, Christianity as a whole through Buddhism. So it, diving into other religions and understanding other minds is extremely important. And it's not something you have to do on the daily, but honestly, I do recommend it. It's going to help you feel more, um, I wouldn't say fulfilled, but it's going to help you feel more. You feel more whole. It's gonna. It's gonna have this completion. And it's gonna have this this calming effect. Instead of scented candles, of like, ah, oh, this is good. This feels great. Uh, something else that I. Something else I would do is just you know finding something new. Mm. It is yeah. again. It's it's hard to do every day, but once you talk to, once you talk to people and you or you listen to certain people and they bring something up like uh, I was listening to Naveen Jain and he brought up like hydrogen trees or helium trees um right. it's basically like a way of clean energy like you know i'm gonna dive into that later on and they don't like learn try to find out what that is so it's this always this it's so the most, most important thing i guess would be an ever acting body and an ever acting mind yeah. each day yeah yeah awesome and what's incredible ava is the fact that what you shared there is pretty much um, all the other guests have said who've come on the channel, everybody from your dad to, uh, you know, Dory Clark to, um, you know, Adam Edson and all the other great people that I've had on the channel. I mean, this is pretty much the same thing they have said. So, you know, there you go, guys. If you're watching this, it works. All right. Because he was saying the same thing. Yes. You have to look after your mind. You have to look after your body. You have to look after your spirituality. You have to continuously grow. You have to continuously learn. And it's all those things combined together that actually determine who you are. So, yes, very, very powerful. Thank you very much for that, Ava. Really appreciate that. No, of course. And, it's, and it sounds scary at first to go like, oh, my gosh, I have to be ever changing. I have to be ever learning. That makes that makes no sense. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Asking simple questions is, 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 again, my little brother. How does the zipper work? How does a button work? Why does a wheel spin better? Simple questions like that that can just pop in your mind at random every day. Getting rid of, getting rid of those distractions of the Internet. I love the Internet. Like, I love social media. It can be such a blessing as much as it can be a curse. Um, but, you know, if everyone else is saying it, there's there's a reason there's there's a, there's, there's, yeah. there is a reason <laughs> which i definitely take to and again i'm no master at any of these things 
heck, I'm forced to swim three hours a day, but I enjoy it. And I hope everyone figures out their own ways to enjoy it too. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's about being in a state of curiosity and excitement. <laughs> and I think those two together will just, you know, it, you can achieve anything. If you're curious, you're excited, you can just achieve anything. So absolutely. And I think yeah, you, you definitely have both of that. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you're excited, what's the point? Like, if you're not excited, what's the point of it? Yeah. Like, if you, if you oh, I have to run. I hate it. Well, I mean, try swimming. <laughs> try lifting weights. Or, like, I hate uh, I hate meditation. Well, like, how about you just, like, lay down and stare at the ceiling for, like, 45 minutes? That could help. <laughs> anything, anything. <laughs> yeah, it's about trying different things, right? It's about trying different things until you find the one that works for you. So, absolutely, yeah. Love that. Mm. Cool. Ava, um... I like to do like a quick, a quick kind of rapid fire round towards the end. So we'll just ask a few questions and, and you can just answer them quickly if that's okay. Yes, I can totally, I can totally spit fire. I can totally spit fire. Sweet. Okay. So if you were a Jedi right now and you had the ability to use the force, what would you be doing right now? Okay. Well, right when you said use the force, I thought of like Avatar and then bloodbending. Avatar, the, um, the Nickelodeon, the, the, the Nickelodeon cool cartoon. One. Well, I, I was I was gonna go with the the Star Wars Jedi bending force mind trick thing, but you go with you go with that. <laughs> okay, if I if I was a Jedi, I oh, if I use the force, what would I do? I would first off levitating stuff, levitating other people would love that. I want to levitate water. <laughs> like, that's cool. Yeah. I'll do that, and then I want like I just want like a cool decor thing going on with mm. like floating everywhere. It would take a lot of energy for me, but I'd be okay with that. Also, getting able like people to fly too, I'd want that. Also, <laughs> um, like just messing with things, shifting mm. things where they should be. Like you know, take a tree, then move the tree to somewhere else, and everyone gets confused why the tree's there. Or like take a big rock, put it in someone's driveway. <laughs> want that too. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was a Jedi. I just mess. I'd mess around for a bit, but then I'd find a a, a bigger a bigger reason to be able to mess with things fair enough fair enough well you gotta have some fun now and again right oh my gosh yes that's the that's that's part of the that's part of life it's so fun <laughs> people think things serious so much like when life starts not becoming serious mm. everything opens up to you that's i mean that's my small take on it <laughs> yeah yeah no absolutely okay next question um if you were to be deserted on a desert island for say a whole year Okay, with three people that you could choose, any three people apart from friends and family, which three people would you choose? <laughs> no friends, no family. How far away am I from from uh, from the? Let Let's say Let's say you're on Mars. Dang it! Because if you said island, I was be like Michael Phelps, so he could swim me back. But no, <laughs> if I was on Mars, I was stuck with people, and yeah. I had to learn. Okay. Uh, because I'm on Mars, not being Jane, so we could talk about, like, cool population growth and how we could all live on different planets and how we're doing it right now and how that's awesome. cool. Yeah. Um, I would want, um, who's also who's super cool? Super cool. Uh, I'd want Tom Billy on, because he, mm. like, he has incredible mind, he does incredible things, just sitting down, having conversations with him, learning from him, and hopefully, like, having him learn from me too, that would be super amazing. Um, and, uh, the, oh, uh, Neil Milet, whom is a, a small, like, he's an, he's an Indiana farmer, but he's, he's so much more than that. He's so incredible. He's, like, he has multiple patents, and he goes into, like, um, the agriculture and biotech industries. Um, and I would want him on just to be able to talk about, like, all that he's doing. And hopefully we could, like, you, like cultivate something on Mars, like, grow something so I could sustain myself. Yeah. And then try to like cool Mars food, I'd want that too. <laughs> That's what I'd want. Awesome, awesome. Well, Ava, thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, I thank you so much for your time. You've already told us where people can go and find you on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So I'll put all those uh, links below in the description so people can go and check them out. And uh, I just want to say all the best with your new podcast. Really looking forward to actually listening to it, subscribing to it. And uh, I'm sure you have lots of amazing you know, things coming up and uh, just uh, hoping that you'll be willing to come back and, uh, you know, do a round two sometime. I'd love that because you're so like, like if it's in a year or two or like even six months, you're going to be catching me as a totally different person. That's going to be so cool. Ah, it's like 
you're doing like you're almost doing like time markers with people like because we have these checkups and you have like if i listen like to one of your people and it was like one two and three and i listen to all of them it'd be, it'd be so cool because they're all different person each time and they're all doing something different each time so i would def- i would definitely love to do that and I get it. And having that opportunity means all the world to me. It's always super fun to be able to talk to people in other places, doing other things, and improving themselves as much as in yeah, you, you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome, Ava. Guys, um, I just want to say, look, again, you know, Ava is so young and she's doing incredible things. She's just about to launch her own podcast and, uh, you know, she is so enthusiastic. She's so excited about it. And uh, I'm sure that you have felt her energy just the way I have because it's been punching, sorry, coming out of the screen and punching me in the face. And uh, for you guys, I think there's a big lesson here, guys. The fact that age is just a number. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what background you come from. It doesn't matter, you know, what your circumstances are right now. You can always change that. You can always change yourself and become whoever you want to become. And the key thing here is, I think, you know, making sure that you surround yourself with the right people. You develop a, you know, certain type of mindset, a, a kind of like an exploratory growth mindset that you constantly cultivate. Uh, the fact that you actually change your environment and you make your environment optimized for your acceleration. And simply the fact that you approach life in a state of excitement and curiosity. And that's what Ava's doing. I think she's going to achieve some really incredible things. So um, with that, I just want to say, hey, you know, if you find any value in this episode, make sure you share it with somebody who's close to you, somebody who you think can really benefit from what we have discussed here um, and all the value that Ava brought with us uh, with her today. And uh, also, you know, hey, consider subscribing because then you actually join the tribe. You join the tribe of awesomeness junkies who are there to help you and support you. And they're also hustling um, in their own unique way. I know Ava came today and, uh, you know, she's told us, about her hustle and uh, my job as always is to serve you guys to bring on amazing guests so we can learn from them just like you know I'm sharing my network with you I'm also learning from those guys but I want to share all this stuff with you so you can start to accelerate your life so you know if you, the, any of this resonated with you hit the subscribe button down below would really appreciate it and give us a thumbs up um, apart from that Ava Once again, thanks so much. All the best. Looking forward to 2018 and all the great stuff that 2018 holds for you. Just thanks so much for being here with us. You were absolutely incredible. Well, all the same to you and more and also for your audience. I hope you get... Seriously, I hope you get all the traction you, you know you deserve. Because honestly, you're an amazing human being. You're taking the time to like to listen to me, and you're taking the time to cultivate your own thoughts too, which some people don't do, uh, and and discuss them and help other people out. So honestly. Like you keep doing you. You think you're grateful for having me here. I'm extremely grateful to be able to be talking to you. It, it's honestly such a joy. Well, Ava, I had an absolute blast. Thank you so much. And uh, guys, hustle hard, and I'll catch you in the next one.